Welcome back to another video, Soil here, and today I'm going to talk about a trading strategy which is called Doji Sandwich. First, let's see how we identify Doji Sandwich pattern. Doji Sandwich is a pattern based on Doji candle. Please pay attention that in this video, we're not going to talk about different types of candles, and the focus in this video is on the trading strategy and how we use it for trading. So if you know nothing about candlesticks and you're not familiar with different types of candles and their interpretation, I have a complete course in six episodes episodes and I also put the link in the description of this video and I recommend you to watch it later after this video so you become familiar with different types of candles and patterns. All right, getting back to doji sandwich. The first candle in this pattern is a medium to long candle, not so long that shows signs of exhaustion, but we must have just a candle long enough in compared to other near candles in that period which shows that the bulls were in control. The candle must show that the bulls had the control and push the price up. The next candle is a doji, preferably not a long leg doji, and in a perfect situation, its shadows are in the range of the previous candle, but it's not a must. Generally, the smaller this candle, the more significant it becomes in this pattern. All that matters is that it must show indecision among bulls and bears, a deadlock between forces of buyers and sellers. And the third candle is similar to the first candle, same length and same direction, and it shows that while the bears could manage to stop the bulls and prevent the price from going higher but they were not able to take the control and they lost it and the bulls were in command here took the control and drove the price significantly to higher levels this pattern is called doji sandwich the middle candle the doji is sandwiched between the two longer candles so it's called doji sandwich pattern and it's a continuation pattern and shows the possibility that the price is going to continue this direction but entering a trade only based on a candlestick pattern is not wise because you will take higher risk and you need to confirm the signal by other tools and concepts to reduce your risk as much as possible. The position where this pattern forms is very important in the significance of this pattern. This pattern that we have here as our example on this chart is in a bullish direction so it has value when it forms in positions where bullish signal is significant like when a reversal happens or near support levels where the price turns and change direction or in trends when the pullback ends and the price turns back in the direction of the trend. Among these positions, entering in the direction of the trend when the pullback ends is the safest option which gives you the opportunity of having a high probability trade with minimum amount of risk. To filter the false signals and reduce the risk in this strategy, we also use MACD. If you're not familiar with MACD, I have a complete guide about it and I recommend you to watch it later because MACD is one of the most effective indicators that you can use for trading. I also put the link in the description of this video, make sure you won't miss it. Getting back to our trading strategy, when the doji sandwich pattern forms simultaneously or prior to the formation of the pattern, the MACD indicator must also give us a signal. For our example, which a bullish doji sandwich formed on the chart, the MACD line must cross above the signal line, could be at the same time or prior to the formation of the pattern. Please pay attention that all these bullish signals are happening at the touching point of the trend line and possibly telling us that this is a pullback and it's ending. If you pay attention, you can see that before the formation of the doji sandwich pattern, a bullish engulfing formed and then uh, the engulfing candle becomes part of the doji sandwich pattern. This is highly significant and gives us more confidence that we have higher degree of probability that the price is going to advance. We also add simple moving averages with length of 50 and 200. For trade entry, based on what kind of a trader you are and degree of risk you're willing to take, there can be two levels. When the third candle is closed, you can enter a long position here by opening of the fourth candle, or you can wait until the high of the third candle is broken. You can also use the 50 period moving average as a guide for your trade entry. In our example, the third candle closed above the MA50. If the price after closing of the third candle is still below the MA50 so closing above MA50 can confirm your trade which can coincide with closing above the third candle high. Closing of the price above MA50 can also happen during the development of the doji sandwich pattern which is a good sign for us to see the price as above moving average with length of 50. The initial stop loss that you can place for your trade based on this pattern is below the doji candle or below the third candle 
candle low if it's lower than the doji like our example here but if the third candle low is very far it's better to set it below the doji and for setting profit target we use the moving average with length of 200 as a guide if our bullish doji sandwich pattern is formed below the 200 moving average line so we must treat our trade as a short-term trade and if our pattern forms above the 200 moving average line we can stay and ride on the trend for a longer time and take profit as much as possible if you're not familiar with moving averages and how to interpret them i have a complete guide about moving averages the link also in the description of this video so if we are below the 200 period moving average line we exit our trade when the macd line crosses below the signal line and if we are above the 200 period moving average line uh, like our example here on this chart besides exiting our trade here at this point where the macd line crosses below the signal line we can also stay longer so we can watch and analyze the price action carefully and ride on the trend until we have signs of increased selling pressure and possibility of reversal the example shown in this video is formation of a bullish doji sandwich and we can similarly have a bearish doji sandwich and everything explained in this video is true and applied for it but in the opposite direction all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you found any value in this video please like it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading